Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to properly use your Lena Make Your Mark 03 um, blank image. So um, I know that there's people out there that are having a hard time with this um, and it could be because you are scraping too harshly, too rough, too deep. Um, anyways, so without any further ado, let's get started. I'm going to be showing you the swatches on my mini uber chic beauty mat. I have five fingers painted in white and five fingers painted in black. I don't know if we'll use them all, but it'll be fun to see the difference. So I'm also going to be doing some experimenting with some glitter polishes, see if they will gradient well on this as well. But first, let's just start out with the basics. Um, the polishes I will be using today are all from Queen. So we'll be starting with a three color gradient. This will be I'm shifting from different shades of pink. So I put it directly on the plate. And as you can tell, you can fit quite a few more colors than just three, but we're just gonna do three right now. Um, and you can either swipe from left to right, but I like to go down and you see how I swiped a little bit too hard and we have this blank spot right there so this was a bad swipe and I feel like lots of people do this on accident not knowing that um, that's where their problem arises so and this does take some trial and error you're not going to be perfect on the first time um, so be patient with yourself so let's try this again And I think where we don't fill this whole image completely, I'm actually going to swipe this opposite way. So start far enough back and then just lightly graze the surface. Pick up your colors and transfer them. So there is my pickup and transfer for my three color light to dark pink. And really the lighter you are on your swipe, the better, the better results you will get for this um, middle plate. Just the trick for me is to just keep it level with all these other images on the other sides. So if you can just mo mainly put your pressure on the outside, um, like these two corners, and no pressure on the middle, you'll get a swipe where the, the image will be filled with color. I know another thing that you can do with this is a full, um, just like a one coat color onto your nails. So I'm not going to fill the whole plate. Again, put your pressure on the outsides of your card and you'll fill it up and there is your full color for your blank image. Now we're going to slide this down and we are going to do another um, three color image, this time with some blues that don't quite match up, but I just wanted to try it and maybe you can see the difference of the lines a little bit better. And we'll do it in a little bit of a different design this time as well. Um, one thing that you do need to do is when you're working with this, you either need to work fast or put a lot of polish on the plate so that you, so that your polish doesn't dry before you are done with what you're wanting to do. Okay, again, pressure on the outside, swipe. And then we will place it onto this middle finger. And I am picking up a few air bubbles from the image onto the, um, from like my polish pickup. And I think that's just because the room I'm in right now is extremely warm. So I think that is my problem. And like I said, when I do gradients, I like to swipe down because it drags the colors throughout 
um, the other one so it really makes it look like a gradient but I do want to try um, one more with these blues going sideways and we can compare we can compare the two okay so this time we're gonna wipe swipe from the side So there is the difference. Um, I like, like I said, I like this better because it gives you more of the gradient look than swiping from the side and keeping all the colors uniform. I like to drag the colors through each other to make them bleed and blend a little bit. So that's my trick for when I do gradients. The next thing I want to try with you guys is doing just a two color gradient um, where this plate is so big. And if you have a big nail, this is something that you might want to experiment with. And this one, I'm just gonna do it kind of like an almost reverse, a gothic French tip. And there you have it. So that is, you can do just like a two color gradient. Again, I find that swiping down on this image bleeds your images together just like if you were to use a sponge. So that is my trick if you're gonna use, do it for gradients. Okay, and then the last thing I wanted to try with you guys um, was to do different um, glitter polishes. I wanna see if they will pick up. So I have two chunkier glitters here that I wanna use and then I have two finer glitters. Obviously, it's not gonna be like an opaque transfer, but it could be like a light settling placement. So I'm just gonna paint this on here, on like half of the plate. And then we'll also try to do like a solid glitter finger and see if that works better. So as you can tell when I scraped it off, you couldn't really see any of the pickup. And sorry guys, I switched my voiceover to being a voice voiceover and not saying anything while I record because my neighbor was mowing their lawn and the noise was annoying me. So that didn't really work all that great. Um, the chunkier glitter, it just doesn't like to be picked up, I guess, off of this plate. It just kind of swipes right off when you swipe it with your card. Now we're going to try using the blank image with some finer glitter and I did speed this part up just a little bit. Um, but as you can see the swipe on that you think it's not going to work but then as you place it onto that black design you can really see the blue and the pink. So the blank image does work for um, finer glitter gradients. I'm not quite red ready to give up on the chunkier glitter so we're just going to try doing it as a one color um, for an all over one coat glitter. And it doesn't really work. It does give you sparse placement, so if you were just wanting something sparsely done on your nails, you could use this option. Now we're going to try the finer glitter as a one coat, which the trick with this is put a lot of the polish on the plate, swipe very lightly, and you will achieve your all over glitter accent fingernail, which I think this is a great option because um, it'll dry a lot faster for you. So here is our finished product. Um, you can have your gradients, your three color gradients, your full color, um, and then it does stamp finer glitter, which I think is awesome. So you can do like an accent finger without this huge mass of glitter on your finger. Um, and then your two color gradients right here. Um, this was more contrasting, but it is possible the thicker, chunkier glitters um, pass on those. That doesn't really work. Again, here is a two glitter, finer glitter gradient that will work. And here I tried to do a single coat of the chunkier glitter and it was a fail. So there's a few ideas what you guys can do with your Lena Make Your Mark 03 plate. I hope I helped you guys learn how to use it a little bit better. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and check me out on Instagram. We'll catch you guys later. Bye.